Hello everybody and welcome back to Portville. This is episode 3. And today we're going to work on the park that we said we were going to do in the last episode. So, we still need a name. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. Because, you know, that is always, always a nice thing to do. So, let's see what we have here. We've got a decent amount of money in the bank. Um, I think... We can get started straight away. So just put it on three times speed. Okay. Road. I think we're using this road. We are using this road. And it goes underground. We're going to extend it. Perhaps a little turn to avoid that housing area. And a little turn again and have it come up here so I'm thinking we will work with a bit of this area oh is this fertile land it is fertile land hmm oh, okay that makes it a bit more difficult because I'd really like to use that fertile land for industry. I think we might move up here then for the park. Which isn't much of an issue. We just need to take this road. And curve it. So about here. And let's see. We can do a T-junction like this. Maybe a 90 degree angle. Yep. And then a 90 degree angle this way. So I'm thinking this area could be the park. That would work. So if we were to just get the park tool. And I'll, I'll time lapse this because this is always difficult. Something like that. So we can probably... Actually, we could probably expand this to here. Yes. And like that. And then just get it off the road. I'm going to expand the road. Okay, so this will be our park area. We can then put a main gate here. Now we've unlocked a bunch of stuff. Let's get some fence around this area. There we go, we've completed that. We just need some water for the main gate. Not enough money. There we go. Oh, we also need power. Okay, yes, I need to grow the city, but that's not my prior that's not what I'm prioritizing right now, game. There we go. Okay. So we've got quite a lot of area to work with. Let's get let's get the path of decorations going. So maybe get it to go like that. Let's get a straight path that maybe curves off at the end. Yes. So we want a path going around the outside. And then we'll start putting paths in the middle. Oh, Boomtown! We've got transport now. And recycling, and a bunch of these these things. Advanced wind turbines. More health stuff. Cemetery. We need to... We do need to care about death care. If I'm... There we go. Got a circular path sorted. Let's get on to death care real quick. So we put a graveyard there. And people like graveyards. It's a good thing to be living near a graveyard. Back to what's actually important. A bit of a straight path first. And then we can start doing weird, weird stuff with it. So we could go like this. And we'll just keep branching out. Like a tree. 
tree. Okay, just one extra there. And there is our park layout. Let's find something to place in here, because of course you can't just have paths. It's not a good enough park. We need a park plaza. Now this, I feel like we could have a couple of these opposite each other on the first path. So you come in, you come into the park, and you're greeted with these ridiculously high plazas. Makes you feel nice and insignificant. That's what I want. It's what I want. How are you even supposed to get on those? Uh, it's 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 not a me problem. It's fine. And then we can perhaps get two more. Um, cafes, cafes. They're usually by entrances, so you can go to them when you come in and when you leave. It's it's smart. These need water, of course they do. And we also need some restrooms, which would be near the entrance. There we go, there we go. Info booth, probably next to the restrooms here. Yes. So that is pretty much all we can have right now. Later we'll have like chess boards and piers. I can't really have those, we're not near water. Gazebos. Climbing frame, trampoline park, you know, really, really interesting stuff. We can't do that right now. And we've already got our first person coming in. Let's look at the policies for this park. Policies. So there is our park. It actually looks really pleasant. I'm very happy with that. And now we need to, like, figure out access. Because people do have to access the park one way or another. We could put a toll road. Ooh, do we want to make money from people going to the park? I don't think we want to right now. We might change our minds later. So there's access, so the people here can go to the park if they wish to. We... 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 ah, we cut off thing. Okay, so I now have the move it mod, so if I press M, I can just move this to a better spot. I believe that works. It does. Nice. There's a slight graphic, like, visual bug, but it's not, like, the worst thing. It's not massively cheating, so it was alright before. So I think we're going to just grow the city out a little bit because the game is shouting at us to do that. Okay, you know what, I think this is going to be good enough for now, because we've got to figure out a transport system. And that is going to be loads of fun. Oh, we need districts. District it all up. There we go. Let's keep a clear gap between the districts, there we go. And how many visitors is this place attracting? Hopefully a few. We've had 22 visitors so far. But that is that is they're just going up and it will climb more over time I believe so we're gonna we're gonna just leave that to do its thing now transport we need 30 grand ah we're not doing transport yet oh could we do ferries I don't think there's any need to at the moment though that's the thing yeah there's no need we're getting a bit of traffic now but it's like not horrendous so it's okay. We are getting people using this road to get to the park. Which is good. Oh, fireworks. They've got the fireworks going. Did you know that only 50.2% of you are subscribed? That's just over half. So if you aren't subscribed, just click that button. Really quick. Really cheap. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Very, very nice. It's what I like to see. We've nearly got enough money for the bus depot. Elder care. Do we want elder care? Do we want to care about the elderly? Oh, it increases health. Yeah. 
It's probably a good idea then. Elder care. Usually you see the happy faces. There weren't any happy faces. That covers everyone. And I just did a bad because I was saving up for the bus depot and now I just spent it on elder care. God damn it. I'm so smart. I think we're going to make a new district. Here. We want to make a new district here. Yes. Because our current districts, we're running out of room to expand. So if we just make a new district entirely, we should be alright. That is going to be the new area. Maybe just get a little road here. And a bit of a road here. Yes! Yes, new area, new area. Let's just zone all this and un and dezone the stuff we don't want. I think we're going to have some commercial on this main road here. Because there aren't many reasons to come on this road at the moment. So, there isn't going to be too much traffic. Later, we might need to get rid of the commercial when there's enough traffic. But, right now, it's alright. We ran out of money. Of course, of course we did. Oh no, and they're already building the houses. Uh Have they got electricity? They have. Oh, I can I can get rid of these pylons. And let that play. I think we need to zone this district. Yes we do. Of course we do. Okay, we've got Sunset Heights. Yes. I think it's good enough. Very, very epic. So, I went to go and do something, so I had to um, pause. So, let me just backtrack and we'll figure out what we're doing. So, we've just completed the park, waiting for visitors. We've had 151 so far. So, when we get to the next level, we should be able to get some new stuff. Yes, and we've just made this new area. Um, did my district save? Yes, it did. Sunset Heights. Very, very cool. So next, we might need to expand the industrial area. That has got some demand. So let's just get straight to that as quickly as we can. There we go. And then get a bit of zoning done. Boop. And some water. And a bit of districting there we go and hopefully that will grow it is growing and industry I think is the biggest money maker out of the three different types we've got so far so it's always good to get more industry if we can it's just usually quite low in demand and look at this people are using our new road system quite a decent amount of people are using it both for the park area and for this area, so very nice. New building? Ah, it's a non-stop bus terminal. I think this is an asset I have. I do have a lot of assets going on, and you know, I would I would list them all in the description, like I have with mods and DLC. Check that out. But I, there's a lot of assets going on now, so I can't really list them all. So yeah. Um more commercial a bit more commercial and oop there we go easy peasy all right we need the water oop there we go i didn't forget about you oh we can have more industrial more industrial is more good that's something that one of my friends would say hi you i'm talking about you can can, can you give me a little hi in the comments you that'd be great and let's get some districting again in a clean little swipe. There we go. This is really starting to grow pretty big. I think next we will either buy a new tile or just expand here. Just work with what we've got. Let's get this road and expand it to go there and get that to go there. Yeah, let's just get like a connection going, because usually it's good to have a load of things connected, from what I understand. 
because it gives traffic multiple options. But now I think everyone's going on this road instead of the big road. So, don't know if that was a success or not. Let's get more residential. Let's, uh, let's upgrade old Portville. And get a little bit of zoning. Epic. And there we go. And district, district, district. Oh, we actually probably want to keep it off that road. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do we do? We can place parks. Little, little parks. Just to increase our land value a bit. Botanical Garden. Now, this is a good one for value. It gets the land value up massively. I think it even increases tourism, which is very nice. Let's get it there. Oh, yeah, that increases land value massively. Let's get a bouncy castle. Just a small bouncy castle park there. Very nice. This is very high value land now. We need a bit more value over here. Let's get a little um, carousel park. And that is increasing their value massively. It's what I like to see. Now we don't have anything here. What is the electrical issue? Oh, if we don't have enough electricity. But now we have the advanced wind turbine, which goes in the water and produces... What, like... Two and a half times the amount to a regular wind turbine? So that is worth the money. That is a good investment. And now we get the parks going again. We could get a Japanese garden. I think these are beautiful. These little Japanese garden things. In my uh, city that I play without recording. So I do have my own city. I can, I can actually show that. If you, if you guys want me to, I can give you a little clip of that in the next episode. If you want to see my city. And yeah, I have I have these quite often because I, I do really like the look of them. Uh, dog park. There. Does that make people happier? It does. And I think we're going to do one last thing where we're going to connect these areas using pathways. Because if you can connect an area with a path, it stops them from getting into a car and they'll just walk instead. So we go over that road, over that road, and we come down. Like so. And hopefully, instead of taking a car and driving a really long way around, people will start using this path. There we go, we have our first user of the pathway, and we can they're using a bicycle. Nice. And I can s use the first person camera, which I just enabled. And look at that. It's looking very, very nice. Yes, I've, I will call that a success. I think this has been the most progress we've made in, a, in an episode so far. We've expanded this area, we've expanded this area, we've ex made a new area, we've made a park. And we're making a lot of more money than before. So I think I'm going to call this video here. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to leave your suggestions for the uh, city name in the comments. I haven't received any yet at the time of recording. So it would be massively appreciated if you could do that. Uh, drop a like because that helps the algorithm. Commenting also helps. And I respond to most of my comments. That's something I take pride in. I respond to most of them. So if you want a little response... Just, just leave a little comment. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode of City Skylines. Goodbye.